3D Print 747 here, back again with another video. So, based on the results yesterday from the TPU printing on the K2 Max, I went ahead and did a tolerance print um, to see how the tolerances are on the bamboo versus the K2. So, Oh, that's popped off already. I did not take this off the screen. This is not, we're off the bed. This has not been touched at all since it printed last night and finished and has left it here so I could do the, the video. Over here, we have the same print on the K2 Max. This one is stuck. It didn't slide off the way the bamboo did. And it's been sitting here longer than the bamboo. Um, okay, yeah, you can see the issue already. I didn't use a brim. I used any cubic slicer with this, and I obviously used bamboo with this. And this slides around. I was going to say with no issues, and then I just had an issue. Oh, there we go. Got 15 stuck. Looks like the 15 is stuck to the 10. Right there. See that? Kind of fused together. I just took a little break off. They're all like that. stuck together so we do have some issues maybe it's those two like that one as well but here they're all fused together that's crazy. These don't move at all. Can't even break them apart the way you could this. So these are all sliding together fine now. But this was a garbage print. I'm gonna go back into any cubic and make sure that it didn't add any kind of like inside brim or anything to it, um, skirt or anything. Just make sure that's all disabled. It didn't enable anything, but maybe it was done by default. So let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, everyone, <clears throat> I'm back and I printed this and what you want to make sure of, and I haven't looked at the bottom yet, it's still stuck. Even though the main screen said no brim, when I went inside to advanced setting, um, outer brim was set. So if you're using any cubic slicer, make sure that you're checking the advanced settings because they're gonna screw you over if you're not expecting that kind of a thing. Now with that said, thing is still a rock so I don't think it affected yeah I mean this is print in place it should be sliding you saw the the bamboo print and how it slid super easy also the numbers see that's 16 that's not as nice as what the bamboo look like. 24 looks ugly, 23, 22. I mean, they all kind of look, look at the 21. I'm not real happy with this. So what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to put this on Orca Slicer and see if it changes the tolerance at all because that is a no-go. So let me try that. I'll be back. All right, so here is the Orca Slicer print. Um, you can see that I didn't have the bed selected correctly. I have the cover to um, profile. It didn't change it to uh, the max settings for the bed. Uh, everything else should be the same for the uh, profile though. Um, same result. Putting the screws together. see the difference how well, these are all fused together on the bottom that one's not against the wall but I was breaking some so it will never work apart from the wall so I'm kind of doing this and bending and trying to break them apart but that's the any cubic to the bamboo it's definitely tolerance differences I'm gonna look into this and see if I can't figure out how to fix that tolerance um, I'm sure it's probably a retraction calibration maybe or something um, if you all have any ideas hit me up in the comments section and let me know and I'll try the adjustments and then repost my results um, you can even see the numbers from the bamboo look cleaner than the numbers on the any cubic. Uh, not that big a deal, but still, I mean, yeah. All right, guys, please hit that like button um, and I'll catch you in the next one. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. 3D Print 747, I'm out of here.